is Miss Kalia from the Matson Area Public Library, and welcome to another episode of Miss Kalia Makes. In this episode, I am showing you how to make a simple and delicious no bake apple pie for your family for Thanksgiving. It's super easy to make, costs only a few bucks, and best of all, you don't even need an oven. Now let's get started. Here are the materials you will need. I begin by skinning, coring, and dicing my apples. I use three apples here, but later I realized that five, four to five apples would have been better. Also, tip number one. If it takes you a while to dice your apples, like it does me, when you have your apple dice pile, dices in a pile, drizzle one teaspoon of lemon juice on the already diced apples to keep them from browning. Remember, brown apples are not good for apple pies. Now that I have my diced apples, next, in a large saucepan over medium heat, I add my apples, one and a half cups of water, my dry lemon jello mix, and my cinnamon and or nutmeg. Mix to combine all the ingredients, then bring it to a boil and reduce the heat to low. Simmer for about four to six minutes until apples are tender. Next, stir in your dry pudding mix and add the remaining one fourth cup of water. Cook and stir for about two minutes or until mixture is thickened, kind of like syrup. Remove from heat. Next, you're going to spoon your filling into the crust while it's still hot. Then allow it to cool on the countertop. Once it's cool, then cover your whole pie with aluminum foil and refrigerate overnight. While it is in the fridge, prepare your topping. Take about four to five graham cracker squares, which is probably about a pack as you can see in the video, and place it in a Ziploc bag. Crush the crackers using a rolling pin or some heavy object. Here, I am just using my hands because it's easier for me. Now that you're done with that, once your pie is completely cool, you can take it out of the fridge and sprinkle your graham cracker crust over the top. Take a slice and now it's ready to be served. You could serve it with whipped cream or like how I like to do it, I like to eat my pies with ice cream. Now as you can see as I cut it, it looks more like apple cobbler, but that's okay, it's still delicious. I do love apple cobbler. If you liked this video and want to see more, click that like and subscribe button to see what else the library is up to. Oh, and don't forget to hit that bell to get a notification of when a new video comes out. See you next time. Bye!